Option View's Portfolio Manager is highly sophisticated and includes the four buttons above, Info, T-Log, Status, and Reports. You can create an account to either match your broker's account or you can create accounts for backtesting purposes. To create a new account, click on the Info button. This brings up an account information screen and let's go to the New Account button. Here we can put in the name of a new account. Let's just put in Sample 10. And underneath you can click one of these boxes if it uh, applies. If you have a trade year account, for example, you could click that, or you want to create a super account, you can cre uh, click on that. Let's just leave these blank for now and click OK. Put in a starting amount. Click OK. And then that new account has been created. Now let's go through various portions of this screen. Um, you can come to the interest rate portion and then uh, type in the interest rates that apply from your uh, brokerage account. Moving to the bottom left, we have the beta base. And here is where you would select the uh, beta delta base uh, to, uh, that would match what you're going to do in the account. Note that whichever one you select uh, needs to be uploaded into the quotes display. All right, so you want to make sure that that is done. Uh, before you select one and change it from SPX, for example. The valuation of your account could include slippage and commissions, and we suggest you uh, keep those uh, selected. Down below, GL to include previously realized GLs. We'll address this later, but let's go ahead and make sure that that is checked. And if you like to roll covered calls and reduce the original net of a stock purchase, you could click on the Adjust Open Positions Original Net. Let's leave that unchecked for now unless you like to do that. And then we come to the commissions. Uh, bottom left, the commissions uh, uh, for securities. Let's click that schedule button. This brings up the screen where you can input the uh, commissions that match your brokerage account or that you want to apply to your back testing. We go to the per option and we can put a per option charge of say a dollar. Um, if there is a ticket charge, you could put that in the transaction base fee, and if there's a minimum, you can certainly put that there. And sometimes one of the schedules is a little bit less. Something like that. That would be a discount schedule right there. Uh, others would have a base fee of, say, uh, $5.95 on top of that. Okay, and you can do the same over in stocks and bonds and customize this according to your brokerage schedule and that's for securities we come to the futures commission schedule and we could do the same thing we might have a option open and closing etc have it look something like that and then if you want the account to be tied to a brokerage go to the configure trade button click that trade button sends orders directly to and here this list will change over time and it's changed a few times over the years right now we have Tradier and Thinkorswim here that you can select and then when you click on the trade button after you've inputted a proposed trade in the matrix if you click on the trade button up here it will send that trade over to the order screen for that particular broker that you've selected okay finally let's come to securities margins this screen has the uh, uh, Reg T margin levels you would want to review and make sure those are matching what your broker allows. These are the exchange traded minimums that you see here. So once you've addressed all those areas, you can click OK, and then you have now a new account all set up.